Hi, my name is Anshika Nani. I'm in seventh grade and I'm part of the Gifted and Talented program. My project is basically about how COVID-19 affected people in their daily lives. My project is research-based, so I use information from articles and news reports. What I've learned most from this project is how badly COVID-19 has affected our economy. I hope you like and enjoy my presentation. COVID-19 by Anshi Kanani. What coronavirus-19 means? COVID-19 means when there is any group of RNA viruses that cause a variety of respiratory, gastrointestinal, and neurological diseases in humans and other animals. It spreads when someone infected with it breathes, clears their throats, coughs, sneezes, or talks. The first known case was in Wuhan City in the Hubei province in China. Why is COVID-19 categorized as a pandemic? COVID-19 is categorized as a pandemic because of the unusually fast rate that it is spreading. This, this global virus means, this virus is global, which means it is in almost every continent in the world. There are over 95 million cases worldwide and it's still rising. When infected people with the virus, when infected with the virus, different people have different symptoms. How does its man physical manifestation impact one's personal daily activities at home? It impacts people at home because they have to be very careful of what they touch when they are in and out of the house. Once they come back home, they have to make sure they clean the items they brought home and clean the surfaces they touch. Otherwise, there is a chance that some family members can catch the virus. How does COVID-19 impact one's daily economic slash financial activities at a workplace? It has infected one's daily activities at a workplace because people have had to wear masks and social distance with each other. Most workspaces and tables have to get cleaned often because the virus can be on any surface. Also, many people have had to work longer shifts, especially doctors, because every day there are more and more sick patients. How does it affect overall employment? A lot of businesses have closed down due to the rising cases. That means the people that used to work there lost their jobs. Those people haven't been able to find jobs because other stores and businesses have been closing down too. Some people stopped looking for a job after weeks of looking and just gave up. Others were lucky enough to find a job, but those also might close down for the same reason. How does coronavirus affect education? Many students are choosing to do virtual learning, but some are, are still going to school. If students choose to do virtual learning, they use a device and have a meeting with their teachers. If they go to school, they have to wear masks and get masks and get separated from other students. When they are sitting, there has to be a barrier between the desks. How does it affect childcare? When lockdown started in March, daycares have started closing down. As time went on, some have started to open up, but some have still remained closed. It affects childcare because parents have to stay home and take care of their children instead of working. Instead of working their daily hours, they have to work less or they have to find a new childcare, which is nearly impossible. How does COVID-19 affect social life and self-care? COVID-19 is keeping social groups far away from each other. It affects social life because, there, because during many family gatherings or events, people are either not able to come or only a little amount are, are able to come and they have to be social distancing. It affects childcare because many stores and it affects self-care because many stores and shops are having to close down. Some are able to stay open, but only a few people are allowed in at a time. How does it affect recreational life? Airports have closed down due, the, to, due to the rising cases of the coronavirus. Many countries have had border restriction because they don't want someone with the virus to come and spread it to everyone. Due to slower tourism industry, unemployment has increased. Business types that have been negatively, negatively affected by COVID-19. Restaurants. Governments have put restrictions for dining and ordered some to close for many months health and fitness slash gyms. Governments have closed down many gyms because many people take their masks off while working out and they could spread the virus. Remote businesses that have been positively affected by COVID-19. Remote slash virtual accounting services. Since governments are giving COVID assistance to small business owners, accounting firms are prov that provide virtual services are growing. Tutor, tutoring businesses. Since COVID-19 has kept students from going to school, they are doing virtual learning. Parents are get, getting worried that their children are falling behind, so they are hiring tutors to teach more of them. Thank you for watching my presentation. How much longer do you think COVID-19 will last? <laughs> and that's the link sources of what I use.